What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve video quality in Vegas Pro 15. So as you can see we're in Vegas Pro 15 and we have the same footage you saw at the start of the video. So this is the raw footage of course and we're going to be adding on four effects. So come over to video effects and the first one we're adding is brightness and contrast. So we're adding on the default and now all the options I'm going to be telling you are completely optional because everyone's clip is going to be different. For example here, for me, the brightness is fine, but all I'm going to be doing is bringing up the contrast. Now by all means, if your contrast is too high, you can bring it down. Same with your brightness, but that's how I'm going to have it. And if I show you, this is without it and this is with it. Everything once again makes it look a lot sharper. The next thing we're going to be adding on is color corrector. Once again, I am adding on the default onto the clip. So for the lows, I'm going to go in between the yellow and the red. So just here. And then for the mids, I'm going towards the left where the yellows are. And then for the highs, I'm leaving it the same. You can change it if you want to. And also for the saturation, but I don't recommend changing any other setting. So if I take this off, this is before and that's after. So as you can see, it creates more of what this environment is on the beach sunset. And from color corrector, we're going to be adding on color curves. So again, the default drag and drop. And this one, all we're going to be doing is creating a little S. So this top one here, we're going to drag this up. And this bottom one here, we're going to drag this down. So as you can see, it creates a very slight S. So if I take this off, that's before, that's after. It just sharpens everything up again. But talking about sharpen, that's the last thing we're going to be adding. And we're going to that right now. So under video effects, we're coming all the way down and we're selecting sharpen. Once again, we're adding on the default and this is a very strong effect. Like I mentioned in the film look tutorial, if you bring this up too high, you can see it is overly sharp. Even that line right there is super sharp. So be careful with this effect. You don't want to make it go too high because then it makes it look unrealistic. So I'm going to keep mine just here. So if I take this off, this is before that's after. Now the way you can see that is just looking at the edges all around. There is a very slight difference. Hopefully it shows across on the recording from my eyes. Definitely I can see it and you will be able to see it too when you use it. But from there, that is this complete. So what I'm going to do is split the screen. As you can see, everything on the left is before everything on the right is after. It is a dramatic difference. So I will turn down the quality in order for this to play in a slow, in smooth motion. As you can see, the huge amount of difference right there. And that's with all the effects I've just shown you. Only four simple effects. You can see it's really quick to add on, really quick to um, figure out what's best for your video. This S shape will probably be the same for everyone. Sharpen probably be the same for everyone. Color corrector and brightness and contrast, I do recommend you experiment to yourself, but you can try out my settings I've shown you in this video. Now something useful, if you are recording face cam and you're using these effects for face cam and your face cam is always going to be in the same position, well then what you can do is save these things as a preset. What that means is you won't have to play around with the settings again. It'll be as simple as dragging and dropping and your saved settings will still be there. So for example, on the brightness and contrast, where it says preset, you can come here and you can simply call this face cam. And what you're going to do is press this save preset button. Now, every time when you come back to your brightness and contrast from now on, you're going to see right there, face cam is there. And if I drag and drop this on, you can see we have them same settings. Now, yes, it's gone a bit distorted on the video. That's because we now have two brightness and contrast. So take it off and it's back to normal. But that's how you can make your video quality look a lot better. It's not just for uh, videos you film, meaning it's not just for landscape. It's also for face cam and you can even use this for gaming videos. So if you record your games, I would recommend brightness and contrast, sharpen possibly and color curves. I wouldn't recommend touching any of the color correction though. You can try it if you're creating a montage. But that's how simple it is to improve your video quality in Vegas Pro 15.